Um, so I came across a, 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 a article, man. It's kind of interesting. What's um, up? so, you know, so first of all, you know, we, we support all African artists on this show as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. We got, definitely. We, got we get, we did two, we did two, um, you know, uh, what do you call them? The, um, what was it? The future, future, uh, Future waves. Uh, waves, thank you. Sorry, sure. so we did two future waves, and both of them were South African artists. So shout out to mm-hmm. them. Shout out to I think it was R King. Shout out, shout out to CB Nogos. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. You know, and basically, basically, um, this article was talking about uh, the South African Hip Hop Awards. Oh, right? really? So first off, first off, I didn't even know that there was a South African hip hop awards, but man. shout out to that. That was that was yeah. much props to that. Man. Yeah, but listen yeah. to this, man. So Drake, so they, so basically, it's some disgruntled um, hip hop artists in South Africa. They're basically saying they they came up with this new international um, category and they added Drake and Kanye to it. And but then they also added a bunch of you know like really really popular. African artists, right? Mm, okay. So, so basically, you know, I guess what they're saying is, is a, it's a joke, you know, how, you know, you, you, I guess they, you know, they're upset because you're putting, you know, Kanye and Drake, who pretty much is one of the biggest artists in the world against, mm. you know, South Africa, you know, and, you know, South African artists. And, you know, I guess their thing is, you know, this is our thing, you know, mm. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe they feel like it's, it seems like they feel like this is is done maybe for clout, you know. And, and you know, the people are upset, you know, especially those who who work hard in South Africa to get their names up. Uh, one in particular looks like yeah, it's yeah. what Mzini. Oh, uh, it's probably Zan Zancy Zancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zancy, yes, it's Zancy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Zancy looks like he upset. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, it says seeing the nominees. The citizens, oh, the citizens of Manzi uh, could mm. could not could not help but to laugh as they feel as they feel it's an absolute joke. So okay. uh, these, so basically, these are the people of Manzi. Um, uh, uh, Zancy, Zancy. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But <laughs> but apologize, my South African people. But of course, long story short. People, people in this in um in this country is, is upset, mm-hmm. and it looks like because basically you know, I guess they can't have their own. You know, it's like, you know, well, how do how do you mix how do you mix them in there like that, and you know, they have a bigger platform and, and bigger backing than a lot mm-hmm. of these South African artists. What do you what do you think about that? You know what I'm saying, what do you, what do you, you know what, I'm not I'm not mad at I'm not mad at people of Zancy man because. You know what? I'll be I'll be upset too because technically they got it right because Kanye and 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 Drake are not from South Africa, so technically they will be international. So they're international artists. The fact that they are opening up, you know, their war show to include them, you know, they're just being courteous. But honestly, it's theirs. So I don't. But. Uh, speaking on the behalf of, of, of like from their perspective, yeah, I would be upset too because I'm like, shoot, where's the love for them? Like, right, they right. they they got they get their love all the time. They get their love from the, in the states where they really are, and then they get their mm-hmm. love all over internationally. So where's when is this something that's going to be theirs that they can keep, you know, to for their own for their own self? And then right. yeah, like you got artists in that country. And they're not getting no no recognition, no shine or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I think that that platform would be something for them to be able to get like their voice out. So you definitely want to be able to hear what they got to say. So, but but when you start opening up the floodgates to like these big mainstream artists, that just squashes all their like you know, that squashes all their hard work. It's just like you know, with people like you know with with radios, it's it's not some it's not something for like you know the the normal common artist is to try to get on. And like if you're not big and popping like these big mainstream artists, you really can't get no, 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 no voice. So I mean, I understand that. That's understandable. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of things going on in here with this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. I feel like one. I guess maybe they. All right. So let's let's kind of break this down a little bit because Drake 
and Kanye are known for working with a lot of international artists. True. Especially Drake. Especially Drake, right? Um, Maybe they thought that it would shine a lot if they give them an award or maybe include them in the award. Maybe it shines some light on the what they call what I mean the more popular um artists that are mm-hmm. in, in South Africa. So maybe if they're included in this category, maybe Kanye and Drake would be like, hey, well let me go ahead and check them out and see what they about. They're saying maybe, I don't know. What you, it could work you two know. ways. It can work two ways. I can see that. I can see that 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 could be the flip side of it. But there's mm-hmm. also the other side of it to where, like you know, it gets about them, and if it, and they forget about the pe- the like you know the artists in that country, and and you just take the shine away from it. So it can work both ways. It's like it's a flip of the coin, just depending on how it's going to land. Right, right, and I, you know, like I said, I and I, because I was kind of, I was kind of taken aback. So I'm like, why would somebody, why would a South African uh, award show add Drake and add Kanye? But, exactly. You know, I, 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 it could be because they was trying to, trying to maybe shed some light on, on them. Um, you know, hopefully, I, yeah. Because, but at the same time, I mean, because you could also maybe add. Some other artists that are not as big, maybe you know what I'm saying. True. Like that could mm-hmm. be, you mm-hmm. know. But at the end of the day, that I do, I do see that being maybe, um, it could be a good opportunity. Like you say, it could be a good. But I, I, you know what? I still don't understand though how that's working because if why would you, why would you uh, in this category? Why would you put African artists? In this international category, do they do people in Africa? Even though you may live on the, uh, let's say you live on the mm. other side of Africa, do you do they consider them to be international? Even though they're still in Africa, yeah. Well, you can because you got to see because I think they're looking at it like that. So this is in South Africa, right? So right, uh, if any other artists from Africa, kind of they would kind of still be you know technically international because you know africa is a continent so it's not right one whole, right so maybe, one, one whole piece country so right so maybe okay i got you i, I can see that so african or african in south africa yeah you know even because if you're outside of the, uh, south africa you that i guess that wouldn't be considered to be international because you know it's another country it's so many exactly. countries you know exactly so maybe, Maybe that's what it is, but you know, I, I would say uh, to the people, you know, just don't. You know, I can understand you being upset. I get it. Mm. I get it. Uh, but okay. I think a lot of times, you know, with like South like award shows, they always have different agendas. You know, mm-hmm. I, I can always I can also say the same thing about at the 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 uh, award shows here in the states. Mm-hmm. They always got a they got an agenda about something. Yeah. A lot time. of times, at the end of the day. It's about money, always, man. Hey, so, follow the money. You know, exactly to the root of everything. It, it, exactly. That's that was that was the goal. That was, that was always the saying in my in my neighborhood. If you had an issue and you want to know what the problem is, just follow the money. You get right exactly. to the answer. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Will. But but shout out, shout out to all the African artists. Remember, you got a platform right here on the call room. Oh, yeah. You know, whenever you want to, you know, get you know display your music and talent and you know all the different things about your culture we are here to listen to that you know what i'm saying so definitely most definitely yeah